This is the Citizen Link Report. If you find our insights helpful, would you support our video efforts? Your gift of $25 or more goes a long ways. Covers the crew, lights, cameras, all that. Just click on Donate. Thanks from all of us. The New Mexico Supreme Court says there is now a right that trumps the very first freedom in the very first amendment. This is the Citizen Link Report. Hi, I'm Kim Troby along with Bruce Houseconnect who watches over the courts for Focus on the Family. Hey Bruce. Hi Kim. All right, well tell us about the ruling against the wedding photographer. Well, I have to go back in time ex to explain how this started. Way back in 2006, this uh, wedding photographer, Elaine Huguenin, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, was asked by uh, a lesbian to uh, photograph her same-sex commitment ceremony with another, with her partner. Um, the photographer politely declined, said, I'm sorry, we can't take your business. And then the lesbian actually pushed the matter and said, is it because of our status as lesbians? And uh, the photographer told the truth and said, yes, my religion prohibits me from uh, participating in uh, an act of, uh, of a union that is contrary to biblical principles about marriage. Well, that got uh, turned into a complaint to the New Mexico Human Rights Commission because New Mexico has a non-discrimination law dealing with public accommodations. Public accommodations are basically every type of business in New Mexico. Um, and so this photographer uh, cannot discriminate, along with you know, any other business in town, cannot discriminate on the basis of race or sex or sexual orientation, which was added to, the, to that statute. Now, um, the, Christian tried, the Christian photographer stood on her principles and went to the Human Rights Commission. She was found guilty of uh, sexual orientation discrimination. The uh, commission completely discarded her argument that it violated her First Amendment uh, religious rights. Um, that decision was appealed uh, by our friends uh, representing her, which is the Alliance Defending Freedom, who always do a magnificent job in f defending our rights. They went to a state district court, they lost. They went to a state appellate court and lost. And then just recently, the state Supreme Court also decreed that the photographer loses. In effect, what the, the Supreme Court has said is that this non-discrimination law trumps your First Amendment uh, rights of religious freedom, as well as the religious freedom granted to you under our statute in New Mexico called the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. So strike three uh, for religious freedom in, in New Mexico. Okay, explain this to me. How does a public accommodations law turn into creating a right that somehow trumps our First Amendment freedoms? Right. Well. As you know, as anyone knows, the uh, First Amendment uh, has been around for a long time. The Supreme Court kind of mucked it up in 1990, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court, that is, by basically creating a hole in the First Amendment for laws that are known as neutral laws, uh, general applicability, uh, that don't mention religion, aren't targeted at religion per se. But they have an incidental effect on religion because of their operation. Um, some of the famous cases include drug laws where, where the courts have tried to enforce um, um, those types of laws against uh, like Native Americans who are participating in smoking what is actually illegal under the Controlled Substances Act. Um, and so they've carved out niches with, their, with uh, um, a new law, federal law started in 1996. <laughs> Got to get my dates right <laughs> for the Federal Religious Freedom Restoration Act to fill that hole back into the to the First Amendment that the Supreme Court had carved out. Many of the states have done the same thing. Um, there are upwards of half the states now which have protections either in statutes or in court decisions that protect that uh, protect all of the First Amendment rights of their citizens. New Mexico, however, has decided that well, what we did still um, doesn't protect religious rights. This law, this statute, uh, has now become superior to the First Amendment. Now, one of the justices wrote a special opinion. He spelled out the negative impact on freedom, but then he declared that this compromise 
is the price of citizenship. Tell me what that's all about. Yes, the specially concurring opinion um, by this justice, one of the five, they, it was a 5 0 opinion, but one of the justices went out of his way to uh, file a separate opinion, kind of explaining that he understands that this Christian couple that own this photography studio um, are forced to violate their religious conscience. It really is an amazing admission um, by the justice. Nevertheless, um, he says, despite the fact that um, the rule of law requires this, we realize that it's a sobering result, and it will no doubt leave a tangible mark on the Huguenins and others of similar views. And then he goes on to talk about um, a, the larger scale where this case involves uh, uh, reflection on what this nation is all about, multiculturalism and diversity and uh, the need to compromise. He, he emphasizes compromise as a universal value that we should value. And so there he says since compromise is what we're, the price of citizenship, the photographer must compromise her First Amendment religious rights to achieve this um, goal of promoting homosexuality. Yeah, uh, of course, he might want to look up the word compromise because it sounds like what he means more is surrender. Well, that's exactly right. They had no choice. Look, Albuquerque is chock full of photographers. In fact, this lesbian couple, they found another photographer right away to photograph the ceremony. There was no problem. This Christian photographer tried to be very polite, not even bring up the subject of their homosexuality until she was goaded into admitting that it was her religious belief that prompted her to refuse the business. Where is the compromise there? It seems like the Christians have been cornered into admitting their guilt, and then the full weight of the law comes down on them uh, for being honest. Mm. Well, what happens next? Well, I'm sure that the Alliance Defending Freedom, who is defending the photographer, is deciding right now, along with their client, uh, whether or not to appeal to the, the U.S. Supreme Court. Um, in a state case like this, where there are mixed issues, some are state issues, some are federal issues, you can appeal the federal issues up to the U.S. Supreme Court, the First Amendment. The ruling that the state court made about the U.S. First Amendment um, can be appealed. And since this court denied that the First Amendment covers uh, this couple, there's a possibility there. They also ruled that the First Amendment right of free speech does not cover this couple. This couple is engaged in an artistic um, uh, vocation which allows them to use their skills as photographers to uh, enhance and celebrate and promote this, this ceremony. Um, and the Supreme Court has said over the years many times that you cannot force uh, a person to speak what is essentially a government promoted value against their will. And there are numerous cases about that. Um, and they go back years and years and years. So this might end up as either a free speech case or a First Amendment case. And, and we hopefully will see that happen. You know, um, one of our board members, Al Moeller, wrote a blog about this in the last couple of days, which is excellent in how it, he recites and explains the challenge to religious liberty that has gone on in this case and the surrender that was demanded of, of Christians in the marketplace. I, I highly recommend that to our viewers. All right, Bruce, thanks so much. You know, you always bring such great insight into these issues that we cover. And thanks to all of you who have written to share your thoughts and encouragement. You know, you can always write to us at mail at citizenlink.com. And we encourage you to pray for our elected officials and our nation. And remember, stand tall and be heard.